Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another cooking recipe from me. So today we're gonna to be making keto-friendly Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna be using mine with shrimp today. This is actually considered a creamy shrimp scampi, but you can sub any protein for these shrimp. I'm even planning on using some chicken meatballs for the same exact recipe, and it's gonna be delicious. Ingredients you need are one tablespoon of oil. I'm using avocado. You're gonna need some protein, so I'm using about two pounds of shrimp. You're gonna need salt, pepper, and I'm using using Tony Sachery's, which is a Cajun spice down here where I live, garlic, half a cup of chicken stock, or you can use half a cup of white wine, one and a half cups of heavy cream. You can also sub half and half to reduce the fat, half a cup of Parmesan cheese shredded, and two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Let's get into it. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat my cast iron to a nice heat and I'm gonna add my one tablespoon of oil. I just eyeball it really. And now I'm going in with my protein. So I said I'm gonna be using about one and a half, two pounds of fresh shrimp locally. To me, these were so good, y'all. We haven't had real fresh shrimp in a long time because they get really expensive, but I got a really good deal on them. So we were treating ourselves. So I got my shrimp in there and my hot oil. And then I'm gonna be generous with the Tonys. So if you're using a Cajun spice, we probably use between the shrimp and the sauce, probably two tablespoons or more because we like things a little bit spicy down here. But I know a lot of y'all don't, so just make sure to adjust that accordingly to y'all's taste. I'm also going in with some pepper and then some more Tony's. As you can see, I was like, that is not enough in our life. And then some pink Himalayan pink salt. Definitely salt this, guys. If you don't salt this dish, it's going to be bland, okay? Because you're just using heavy cream and chicken stock. That's not gonna give it a ton of flavor and spice. So you definitely wanna make sure you're adding your spices accordingly. So I'm cooking my protein down. Again, you can use shrimp, you can use pork, you can use whatever you want here. It's gonna be delicious. And there's my beautiful fresh shrimp all done. If you are using shrimp, y'all, make sure you do not overcook shrimp because they will be so tough and then you don't wanna waste money on that nice shrimp and overcook it. So now I'm going in with my half a cup of chicken stock. Again, Again, you can use white wine if you want to do this as well. Basically, what we're doing is we're reducing the drippings that we have left over from whatever protein. We want to scrape all the little bits on the bottom. That's going to give it the flavor on the chicken stock, and we want to bring it to a boil. Then we're going to add our heavy cream. So we need one and a half cups of heavy cream. Again, you can use half and half here, but I highly suggest heavy cream. It's going to be more decadent. It's going to be more rich and a thicker sauce for your Alfredo. Then we're gonna add some butter. So with the butter, we're gonna need two tablespoons here. I'm using Kerrygold. And we're gonna melt that butter down and we're gonna heat up that heavy whipping cream and bring this to a boil. You want to make this thick. So you wanna cook it down until it looks like it's thickened up and it's not as milky. I'm also adding some pepper here. Again, we like our spice. Don't forget the salt, you gotta season this because it's gonna be bland if you don't. And now we're going in with our garlic here, okay? Because we didn't wanna do our garlic earlier because we didn't wanna burn it. The original recipe called for six cloves. As you can see here, I put about two tablespoons. We like things garlicky. If you don't, reduce that number. Now we're going to be going in with our Parmesan cheese since we have our heavy cream mixture where we want it as far as thickness. Parmesan cheese, you're going in with half a cup and make sure it is shredded. Then we're going to stir this and make sure that we heat it up until that Parmesan cheese is melted fully. I'm going in with some more spice. Again, this is a seafood dish here in Louisiana, so we have to spice it up, but just adjust all that according to y'all. Now I'm gonna take the shrimp that I had setting aside and I'm gonna put it back into my Alfredo mixture, mix it around and make sure all those shrimp are nice and coated with that beautiful mixture. Then I'm gonna finish this off, guys, with some chopped parsley, and that's it. Don't skip on the chopped parsley. It definitely makes it taste like restaurant quality. You definitely want that in there, and it just makes it look beautiful as well. This is so simple. You probably have all these ingredients in your pantry and in your refrigerator already, so it couldn't be simpler as this. It's not expensive, especially depending on the protein that you use. So use whatever you got, guys, and make this delicious recipe. I swear, the hubs and I thought we were in a restaurant eating this, best meal we've had in a long time. I raved about it over on Instagram, how great we loved it. And I'm actually making it this week again, but with some chicken meatballs. Like I said, that's how much we loved it. 
We did serve this over Zoodles, which I highly recommend. The Zoodles tasted just like spaghetti in our opinion, and we really like them. I also want to say this is in collaboration, so there's going to be three other videos you get to watch today on keto-friendly foods. My girl, Misty, Simply Misty, I know most of y'all are probably following her because she's amazing on her keto journey. She's going to be sharing a recipe with y'all, cooking with autism as well, and then Miss Tony Damien that I met at KetoCon. She's going to be bringing you something yummy too. So definitely go check out those three ladies. They will be in the description box down below. Go and check out what they're cooking up today and go get your meal plan set. You don't even have to think about it, y'all. Make this from me and make the other three channel recipes and you are set for the week. I mean, it couldn't be more easier than that. Y'all give this video a big thumbs up if you look forward to these cooking videos from me every single week here on my channel. And make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're not with me already. I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family here. If you make this in any variation, it doesn't have to be shrimp form. If you make this recipe please tag me post it in a story on instagram and tag me i love to see what you're whipping up in your kitchen that i inspired for you thank you so much for watching y'all have an amazing friday and an awesome weekend coming up ahead and i'll see y'all in my next video bye y'all